So what's good you two? We are back here on the second channel and I legitimately just woke up to some very interesting news. So if you guys enjoyed this channel and want to see more content, make sure to go ahead and drop a like and go ahead and subscribe. We're going to be continuing the daily uploads tomorrow talking about another NBA team. But I did want to get this video up because, I mean, I did make a video a few months ago talking about the Brooklyn Nets and how good I think this team can actually be. And since then, I think that this team has gotten even more dangerous for the future. Starting off with signing Steve Nash, to me, was a massive W nonetheless. I think that, that was such a really, really good signing. And then it was just announced that this morning, they're going to be bringing in Steve Nash, his old coach, when he was the MVP type Steve Nash. Mike D'Antoni will be joining his staff as a assistant coach. And Emmy Udoka is going to be joining that staff as well. If you guys don't know, he was one of the front runners for the Bulls head coaching position because he was a assistant coach under Pop for such a long time. He's actually really, really respected. And with that being said, uh, I believe Amari Stoudemire is part of this staff as well. I think this staff is gonna be amazing. I think the Brooklyn Nets are gonna be amazing. I mean, in that video that I made a few months ago, I pretty much said how KD, even if KD is not what he used to be, he will probably still be a top 10 player in the NBA. I still think that Kyrie Irving, if Kyrie can just stay healthy, this team has it as well. I really see the Brooklyn Nets as kind of like what the Clippers were before Kawhi got there, but with a lot less ego and better coaching. I truly see that. Even though Steve Nash is a first-time head coach, him, him having respected assistant coaches like Dan Tony and like Odoka is really going to help him out. Not to mention... I really think that Steve Nash is set up the same way Steve Kerr was whenever he went to the Warriors. I mean, Steve Nash is really there to manage personalities. Kyrie Irving and KD especially have a really high basketball IQ. Surrounding that with Karis LeVert, Dan Witte, DeAndre Jordan, who is a veteran, and Jared Allen, and hell, Torian Prince. This team is looking really, really good, and I think that they are not even done yet. I mean, we've heard rumbles about a Bradley Beal trade or... Hell, DeMar DeRozan, and I think it makes sense for any one of those guys. I mean, yeah, Bradley Beal is kind of far-fetched, but even DeMar DeRozan. I, I don't know if you guys forgot this, but DeMar DeRozan used to consistently take the Raptors to being a top two seed in the Eastern Conference. Adding that guy with Kyrie Irving and Durant will work. I get it. DeMar does not shoot threes at all. However, DeMar is still an all-star out East, and it's still a really good score. And if you guys have not realized this, Every single championship won, other than this year's Lakers team, has always been really good mid-range shooters. And Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving are really good mid-range scorers. And even adding DeMar DeRozan, yes, he won't shoot threes, but he would also be a really good addition to that as well. Look at the Raptors. Look at the Warriors. Look at almost every championship team the past, like, 15 years. They have all been really good in the mid-range. Of course, the Warriors were also good at shooting threes as well, but that mid-range saved them a bunch of times. Regardless, guys, this is big news. I, I think the Brooklyn Nets have, they possibly have one of the best coaching staffs in the entire league, if not the best. I mean, in my rankings, I believe I had them at like number three in the power rankings as far as like the East goes, but hey man, I, I think it's going to be close. But I think that once the playoff starts, this team has so much experience so much perspective from like the coaches and the players that they could be a massive problem and once again even if kevin durant isn't a top three player i still think that he will be a top 10 player and, and having a guy like kyrie irving if kyrie can just stay healthy this team is going to go far and possibly win the championship they got a really stacked team and, and a team that actually fits well together with veteran guys and hoopers this could be a dangerous team, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Make sure to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. This is a quick little news video. More videos dropping tomorrow. And let me know who you guys think that we should be talking about. And let me know what you guys think about this move. But other than that, guys, check out the main channel. I will be live streaming over there later on. And I'm out, guys. Peace.